All right. I thought I would start today's stream off by playing some black white vampires and as you see it has Emma in the name because is it time to leave work yet I left work uh three hours ago so come on c come and join me Nivik come on uh this is uh Emma Handy's list uh she posted it on on the Twitters and I made it into a deck so that I could try it out because I've wanted to try out black white vampires and haven't yet and so a good place to start is this uh, I think she got second place with this list in a magic online MCQ or whatever it was IQ oh no that's not good at all so uh yeah let's see how vampires does <laughs> my my decks uh, kind of tell you how I feel. I don't. I don't have a lot right now. All right, let's let's see if I know how to play this deck. The answer is probably not. Ooh, we get to play first. I know I know the answer to that question. Uh, yeah, this has the combo in it, so I guess we keep get a turn three champion of dusk. Not bad. Wouldn't mind drawing a, a two drop or another one drop to play next turn. Oh, I didn't I didn't change the basics. Oh, oh, this is terrible. Yeah, uh so Sorin has the minus three. You may put a vampire card from your hand onto the battlefield. So you you just drop this into play, draw some cards, lose some life. Yeah. Okay. We got a cast down. Hopefully they play something we want to cast down. Just to be mana efficient. Please play something. Yeah, I think I will cast that down. I like having an open lane for this Knight of the Ebon Legion to plow through. This is a neat little animation here. Ah, they found something. Rats. Another Sorin. If you in its drop, I Draw a couple cards. Not bad. Who L happy? I have no idea who said it. <laughs> Not a clue. What are the other modes on this thing? Man, I have so many Sorens. I might just plus play this, play the second Soren, put this into play. I think that's my plan here. Yes. Depart in its draft immediately. Or you will taste it. Let's refill our hand, shall we? Oh my gosh. And we haven't lost any life this game. They're both pluses. Yeah. The only minus is putting a vampire into play.
9, 10, 11. So they're dead on board. Let me see if I can figure out the answer to your question. Eli Heller Loveman was the one who said it. I don't know what their uh, what you call it is their handle in game is. Um. Oh, yeah, he did make that comment. I saw that. Mm, I love this rope. Yeah, it's fine. All right. Um... That seemed pretty easy. All right, so Augur Bolas. I think they're a um, a Drake's deck, but they could be Grixis instead. So on the draw, vicious. Conquistador isn't as good. Um, I don't think I need Legion to end. Probably cut one of these so I can bring in three of these. And I want to bring in a couple Devout Decrees. Yeah, that seems decent. Maybe cut... And a Danto on the draw as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah, th this card is silly. This card is very silly. So the thing I have been enjoying the most about the internet recently has to be the, the 30 to 50 feral hogs thing. That's That's been a fun meme. I only have one feral hog and he's right here. That's right, I'm calling you a hog, a feral one at that. <laughs> no. I can't get him too excited because then he'll leave the bed and like try and get it on my lap. And it just ruins everything. Ruins the whole aesthetic. Gosh, I want them to concede already so I can... Yeah, thank you. I need to change these lands. All right. I need to change these lands. Seven basics each. All right, now we're there. Now we're cooking with gasoline. <laughs> yeah, sounds about right. I'm really surprised he sleeps. This was only like 20 bucks, but like... We bought it fully expecting none of them to sleep in it, and he he loves sleeping in that thing. Yeah, this seems good. This seems just like a good aggro hand. We have a big cat tower, too. Oh, this person's all about Angrath, huh? Thought erasure. 
Uh, what do you take? A Dante, I guess? Still, we still get Legion. Wow, the full Grixis. Do we just scoop to uh, Cry of the Carnarium here? This needs to be like white or black. Yep. Oh, that's cute. Uh, Gideon seems good here. Legion's end and cast down are pretty medium. I feel like I want despark, despark, and devout decree. And some amount of dresses. Um, so that's six things I put in. Now I got to take stuff out. This seems like replacement level. Uh, Othakaya is not so interesting to me. This reanimating is pretty good. Less good against Cry, though. Um, I guess I want to, like, trade off some amount of Legion's Landing for these duresses. Maybe I just want three duresses. Yeah, let's try this. I can't, I can't take this cat anywhere. Like, the, the vet we go to is, is attached to the pet smart. And every time I take him, he's just crying the entire time. It's like, cat, you need to shut up. <laughs> I actually have a shirt that uh, it says, cat stop meow, I'm on a roll. And it's just like a picture of a cat that looks kind of like him on a, on a dinner roll. And one time I went in there and he was just crying his head off. And, and the nurse behind the, uh, the counter saw him and then saw my shirt and thought that the shirt was actually just him it was kind of funny i'm gonna die to cry again but at least i have a gideon as a backup plan this is just a mono white weenie hand look at this why are you not a white cat Why are the ordering of colors not in Wooburg? Ooh, I guess they are, but it starts on red, so it goes backwards. No, because it goes red-green. I'm so confused. Oh, yeah. That's the perfect card. It's exactly what I, I wanted to draw. Sure. <laughs> like, it's actually a card I want to cast, but just factually cannot do so. Solves. Uh, I'm just going to ditch this to rest, I think. Am I? Like, this Soren can put this or this into play. Three. Let's see. They take one and they take two. Yeah, I think this to rest just isn't very good right now. Drew a land. Drew a land. Okay. I'm gonna gas back up. Defeating you will not bring you pleasure. I guess so. <laughs> no, I don't want to do that. All right. So if they attack Soren, they're dead. Right, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, so they can't attack Soren unless they can kill two of my creatures here. They're out of virtual four because of this. 
So one blocker doesn't do it. Okay. Um, let's see, they block three, four. Yeah, maybe I should have Helix instead. I imagine they have one or two kill spells here, so I want to see how this plays out. All right, we're killing that. All right, they just have double blue now. Oh, they could have like lightning strike, huh? D stroke. This gets death touch, right? Yep. Sure. Seems these. Yes, yes, you're a good white kitty. Molas. Uh, yeah. Play this. I plus on this, give it indestructible, and then I plus on this, giving it lifelink and death touch, and swing for four. Seems like a good combo. Yeah. Curse the darkness. You're dead. The blood is All right. We took game two. We took the easy one. The that we used to go to before we move. Yeah, I mean, once he get, he just doesn't like being outside is his problem. You open the door and you walk outside and he just starts crying a bunch. Alright. Um, yeah. Yeah, we got, we have, uh, five in our deck with, um, uh, what's her face's oath, oath of Kaya. There we go. I'd figure it out eventually. Oh, God, this hand is miserable. I feel like I keep it, though, because, like, any two-drop makes this really good. And, like, Gideon's very good. Like, I'm just worried they're going to disc... Okay, so... Mulliganing against discard is hard, but if they have discard and they take one of these, I'm not left with the whole... I'm just keeping it. I can't be scared my whole life. Oh, yeah. Wow. Another land was not what I wanted to draw in the least bit. Well, they didn't... Huh. Please don't... Please don't discard my Gideon. Hooray! Prepare for trouble. Make it double. The uh, huh? My 
believe in you, friend. All right. So if this Gideon lives, which of course it's not going to. I was going to say, if the Gideon lives, I don't have to activate this to get a counter on it. Yeah, it has indestructible. Wait. <laughs> as long as it's your turn, it has indestructible. You should have just done that on your turn, friend. Right, right. Text on the things. All right. Two quick ones. Uh, I'm really getting this quest done. The funny part is, before I switched it, it was play 25 lands. Ooh, want a coin flip. Sure. Oh, awkward. I didn't look at the lands. I didn't actually look at the lands. Whoops. That's an interesting card to lead on. Maybe I should have still played this off curve. Because it would mean it can attack next turn. Eh, it's the same amount of damage. A weird gates. Or not gates. Uh, what you call it. A weird... Um, Escape shift draw? Or is this like a Karn slash Nissa deck? What can you have for green and a colorless? Okay, thank you. It smells like a weird escape shift draw search for Escanta. okay never mind brew understood maybe i should just uh it's gonna get a counter anyway we're doing four damage this is a really bad draw i probably shouldn't have capped space on the lands but here we are although if i draw a swamp or a black source next turn Nexus. Got it. Okay. We're on the same page now. I understand what's happening to me. I assume a fog is incoming. Right. Sure. that makes sense there was there was a fog in play right this feels awkward uh huh so before i didn't i didn't say this but my main concern w before this whole thing started was what happens when I want my Kaya's or Othakaya to be Mortify? And I definitely want it to be Mortify in this matchup. Like, I feel kind of dead. I have lethal on board. No, I don't believe there's a mortify in the side. Uh, there's, there's, um, where is it? D spark. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I 
think we're dead. We have Duress, D-Spark. That's about it. Tamio, Yeah, we're dead. Alright. We had a pretty bad draw. But I want these, and I want this. Uh, I don't want these cast downs. This Othakaya doesn't do anything. And... This doesn't attack, so I don't really want to spend my time doing that nonsense. And Legion's End? Alright. We will play first. Uh, no. This time I'm looking at my lands and seeing that I can't cast the spells that are in my hand. All right. All right. Yeah, this this is good. I guess I have to ditch one of my one drops. Is it just Sky Marcher? It kills them faster. This could be wrong. No, don't auto pass. Don't you dare auto pass my first turn. Look, game, I'm bad enough as it is. I don't need you auto passing my first turn to help. Oh, please land. I would like a land. God, they have a blast zone in their opening hand both games. Do I kill them faster or do I draw? I can cast this next turn if I draw a land, so I'm just going to kill them fast. Or I'm going to draw cards. Yeah. Wow. Those land drops, though. Jeez. I have lethal next turn. Maybe I should have held this to sacrifice something if I needed to. Five, six, seven. Eight, nine, yeah. Ping, ping, ping. All right, all right. How do you beat Nexus? You uh, punch their face in. I think I could have won the first game if I had mulliganed. I, I just didn't do anything because of how awkward my lands were. Like, I needed a second black source a lot sooner than turn, like, six. I don't even think I got a second black source that game, actually. That was a turn four kill. Neat. I'm a fan of turn four kills. But only when it involves turning creatures diagonally. Alright. Uh, Duress on one, and then Adanto into Legion. I think I keep. And they went down to six. So they went down to five. Because of this Duress. Huh. 
I think I'm going to stick to the plan. Are they spell piercing me? Okay, I was like, what? Wow, they don't they don't really have anything. That's a hand. Maybe I'm supposed to take root snare. They can only use it once. Oh, lord, they topped. Yeah, I should have taken Opt. A thorny boy. That's unexpected. Alright, I need something good here. That's not quite what I was looking for. Four. So I don't have eight. Uh, three, six. A lot. A lot of damages. Four, seven, ten, twelve. Okay. The storied past holds our future. All right, you go there, and you all go there. I have learned all I can here. Another duress would have been a sick draw that turn, huh? It's like, yes, I pick up Root Snare. Cool. Duress? They drew the thing, didn't they? No, they didn't. Okay. All right. Uh, go to attacks. They fog me. They should have done it in my upkeep, but whatever. Uh, draw more cards than them. What the actual heck, man? What? What? What is this? How? How is this even possible? I would like to test a new hypothesis with you. I don't understand. I have learned much from my ancestors. Two, three, four, five. What? 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 That is the unluckiest. My notes helpful. <sighs> and they name Wilderness Reclamation, so they already have Nexus of Fate in hand. Are you dead? Did you just die? Let's take a look-see, shall we? Wait. <laughs> All right. They have that out. That's funny. All right. So they get to draw two cards. Uh, 
do they just down tick again? I can't believe how many lands we've drawn here. And then they up on Nexus of Fate, and if they hit, I'm just scooping. Like, okay. They're just root snaring. I follow the tracks of the wise. I would like to draw Sanctum Seeker. I would really like to draw Sanctum Seeker. Five, six, seven, ten, thirteen of our twenty two lands. Well, if we get another turn, we have lethal in play now. If we get another turn, clap, 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 clap. If we get another turn. <sighs> you're right, you're not white. There you go. Maybe we get another turn eventually? Oh. Is that two? They pump it to three to kill this. Oh, they top. Of course they do. They're going to bump this to three. So that they can kill Sorin. I don't have any other threes though, right? You're right. In this mythical next turn we get, Soren and Sanctum Seeker are lethal. God, I think that's lethal. Well, not lethal, but... I can't believe we drew all lands. <laughs> I can't believe we drew all lands. That's just unbelievable. Oh, this is a plant. Yes. Okay. Woo. The dark border threw me off. We can keep this. And we'll shove one of these down here. This could be anything. I think this turn I go wide, and then next turn I start going tall. But if it's Nexus again, I'll be sad. Okay, it's not Nexus.
We even get a counter on our Knight of the Ebon Legion. Look at that. How much does this cost to activate? Three? Well, four, technically. Bant stuff. Ah, Bant. Bant, uh... No? Hmm. Alright, so they block here. Two, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They're dead. And this is where Othakai is good, as opposed to Mortify. I guess I could have just Mortified the Risen Reef and swung for lethal. Same difference. Bant stuff, huh? Bant stuff. Ah, Noxious Grass. Get in here. Um... On the draw, don't like Vicious as much, and Tyrant to bring the curve down. I kind of want to keep one Legion Zend in to hedge if they're escape shift, because I'm not sure. Like, Leafkin Druid doesn't sound like something that's in a escape shift deck, but people do crazy things, so we'll keep one in. I don't like when it goes quiet. Alrighty. Back to the grind. Woof. <laughs> Ugh. All right, this is good. I'm going to be greedy and throw a land back. It's not that greedy, because it means I go two, three, and then play this and draw a couple cards, so. All right, one drop. That is not the one drop I specifically asked for. Uh, What, what are they playing? Bant, Ramp. Risen Reef is just a ramp card, also draws cards. Not playing around Blood Moon here. Would have liked to have a one drop somewhere in there. Ugh. So that this Champion of Dusk would draw three cards instead of just two. Hopefully we don't just draw lands again. That sucked. <laughs> that was not good. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. Shocking. Well, I think that means I got all the lands out of the way, huh? Alright. We have... We, we drew creature... Or a creature and a removal... They have five mana, though, so they could play Nissa, Champion of Dust Blocks, Nissa Lands. Baffling. Just utterly confusing. Do they risk their Risen Reef to kill a Sorin? They do. Really? That's how you attack? Bomb. Hmm. Now Legion's in would be interesting to get rid of these... Land of War Elves. No such luck. I guess I could have attacked there. I don't know. Yeah. Ah. 
See, that's why I didn't attack. Because Nyssa. The land fights for us. Oh, it's the, uh, it's the gay art. Rebecca Gay. Sure. Speaking of Rebecca Gay, look at me in all these lands. I guess she's less known for lands, but God, those are beautiful. This is a mass manipulation, I'll just concede. But it looks more like a hydroid crisis. That's still pretty bad for us. Well, I guess we have legions in that we can draw to. Hmm. Legions in is actually interesting against like a Llanowar Elf Hydroid Crisis deck. All right. It turns out when you don't draw good cards, you lose consistently. Two or less. Hmm. I'm going to split these, see how that feels. Let's try this. Be a little more aggressive on the play. Play first. Uh, this this is running the idea that Noxious Grass is good against Dull. Oh, what's his face? Oh. Hopefully they have a lot of Lanowar Elves in their deck. Or in their hand. Played the wrong one. They played, I would argue, they played the wrong one. Um, oh, this is Noxious Grass, not Legion's End. Still fine. Um, could have four mana next turn. Maybe they tap this. Soren's not accomplishing a whole lot on this board here. play this I flip the land then I don't have noxious grasp up Blood might begin, and it will be an end. I bestow a mighty curse. they want to trade their mana dork they want to trade their mana dork okay well that keeps them off Nissa longer We get to grasp that. Oh, they finally hit a land. I should have held that noxious grass. That was greedy. Nature's 
Nature's true power. You cannot hurt my hollow stone. Uh, yep. This is but a taste of my power. Swing in at your land. And now I have infinite blockers. Let us talk of peace. Now are being are we being manipulated? Seven. That's four. That can take two things. Take Soren and Adanto. Oh, uh, take one more, so they can take all but the one one. I feel like I'm being manipulated. Oh, it's just an eight eight. All right, Legion's in, let's go. Knight of the Ebon Legion. I bestow a mighty curse. Attack like this. Block there. Their Niss is gone. I play this out. I didn't make a thing last turn, huh? That was a goof. That was a goof. All right. But I do have three creatures that attack through these two lands. Oh, why are you highlighting that? I need to gas up again. They're doing a heckin' walk upstairs, I tell you what. Fights. Double it. Okay. I've never drawn so many flipping lands in my whole gosh darn life. It has trample. Um, one, two, three, one, two. I, I should have shocked this in because then I could leave up this and this. Sure. Man. So if I chalked this in, I'd have three and three activate plus. Yeah. Uh. You're right, you're not white. We lose every time I don't start by making you a white cat. Hold on. Holy crap. 
Legion's Inn gets rid of all of their lands. It's probably not the play, but... That isn't enough. Like, playing this means I can't activate this, right? No, I can activate it. Okay. I can't activate this, but... I'm just waiting for them to take my whole board already. Six. Well, that's not enough blue, so it's another Hydroid Crisis. Harness the element. Oh, is it six, seven, eight, nine, ten? Is this going to be um, Memorial? Or not Memorial, uh, Finale of whatever? Nope, just a really big crisis. Oh, it is a finale. Finale for 15. Yeah, I probably can't beat that. I mean, like, I could if I had a Legion's End in hand already, but Lord knows I would have already cast it. And drew a land right on time. Cool, cool. We uh we got some quick wins and then uh, some quick losses. Um, I think the deck is good. I think I just drew a lot of lands. Like twenty two seems right, but dang, that was a lot of lands. Like literally five lands in one turn in one game. Wow. Hey. Congrats to Emma, but 